Okay. The baby went down for a nap, so I figured I would attempt to record a little video. I think the audio is right. I have done some other stuff since the last time I recorded one of these, so my audio may be a little messed up now. We will see. But I've been doing some thinking about these champions and the loading screen, and these comps are interesting. So we've got a lot of split and pick power with me and Shaco. And um, then we have a lot of... Oh gosh, there's no way this works, right? Okay, well I just need to make sure I don't die too. Yeah, that's an Olaf moment. That's a ghost. Needed to immediately run away. That's a good thing with like five point to know is if you're in ADC without um, mobility, you can't stand in this bush. You have to stand up here so you can actually run. Otherwise this happens. But so our bot side is going to be a little behind, which honestly is fine because what I was getting at is I'm not sure how much we'll be playing around them to begin with. Um, our team has a lot of split and pick power with me and Shaco, and then everybody else is kind of team fight like Cho'Gath, MF, Lissandra. Cho'Gath is going to get space for them, and then hopefully um, him and Lissandra will lock down an ult for MF um, on objectives. But we are not really going to be great at objective fights because if you look at their team, they have just this like crazy engage and wombo combo. So I'm not sure that even in a, like in a 5v5 we really win, um, even if we have our whole team. Um, so I think we're still going to be playing for the split and pick mostly because um, the only really strong side laner they have is Olaf, um, which of course like Olaf and um, Zack can jump on somebody and cause problems, and this Olaf has a bit of a lead. But, um, yeah, it'll be interesting. I think it depends on who gets strong on either team, um, how these fights play out, and where we want to end up being. And I'm not... I, I should have looked a little harder for a level 2 engage on Brand. I did not find one, though, which is fine. He's spending a lot of mana. So... Um, I'll just try and set him up for my Shaco since my Shaco is doing like vertical jungling right now, which um, he's going to want to cross over eventually down to me. Kind of buffered and avoided that uh, stun. Oh, there's a Zac. Oh, now that is unfortunate. I'm honestly kind of surprised that um, I didn't get out in time, but that's okay. Uh, I will just uh, pick up a... Uh, Long sword. I probably should just TP. Make sure I don't miss these waves. Shaco kind of saved the waves for me. Makes it fine. He also has TP, so I'm sure that he will be here soon. Try and group these up to clear them quicker. So, um, I don't know that I really want to freeze this, so I think I'm just going to slow push it out. That is a really unfortunate timing on that Zack gank. I saw him just a fraction of a second too late. Yeah, he's already TP'd back. And now I'm down a flash too, so it's going to be a big, big, big waiting game now here mid. And unfortunately, he's going to probably just get to do what he wants, which is a little annoying. But such is mid. Shaco's looking for a gank here. a lot of damage there. There we go. Thankfully Shaco swung it back in my favor, which is great. And now he doesn't have TP, so I'm going to pressure this plate. Zack might jump on me, but if I get the plate it doesn't matter. Oh, I am not going to get this plate. That stinks. There was still 30 seconds before the protection wore off. These plates get big, big protection. Um, before five minutes comes around. So that puts me in a bit of an awkward spot, honestly, because now I'm gonna miss a wave. Ah, I didn't consider that, that was a mistake. If I would've just taken a recall there, I would be, um, actually have a pretty big advantage right now. Because his death and TP were more costly than mine because of the timing that Shaco did it. He lost more. That's why he's a level down. 
If he lets me all in him, I will. Oh, he doesn't have stun right now. Oops. Sandra found a kill, and Cho'Gath is not losing, which means he's probably winning, I think, depending on how. Oh, I got baited into trying to get that minion. All right, well, I have to just chill again. No stun. Shaco's looking for a play though, so I can't try and punish the stun since I took too much poke. I need to regen back up with my fleet. And uh, what the heck is that room called? Absorb life. So it's just going to be a lot of this for the time being again. I do have a level up on him so I could send it, but I, I really want to wait and see how this play top resolves. I don't want to get committed before I see Zack or before we get the objective. If he tries to throw his stun at me, yeah, he doesn't have stun again, and he didn't get much damage. We see Zack bot, so I think I can just send it. Nope, that was wrong. I thought maybe if I could get him in the tower, it would be fine. The way is frozen though, so it's not too big of a loss. We picked up grubs. Yeah. Still getting comfortable with my damage numbers on this champion. I don't think it was a bad engage um, in theory, but um, like I said before, I needed to not take that first chunk of the EQW or whatever it was, WEQ, that one. That, uh, that cost me quite a bit. So we'll just delete this wave really quick. I don't have time to do a slow push, I don't think. Oh, missing the cannon really hurts. I'm just pushing because Shaco is invading his top side, and I want to threaten these plates and just kind of be up and, and annoying. That way if Brand is not snappy, I'll get to, which he wasn't. And I know that Zack can't be top side and I can jump in there if I need to run away. So now we'll just let him push this all the way back into us and we'll slow push out another once it crashes in at my tower. Lissandra wants a gank, but I don't have ult, so I don't think we have the damage, and Zack is in there. Yeah, you are dead. It's a little bit of a, a scary gank attempt. We do have Shaco, though. Okay, we're going for Zack, apparently. Which seems ill-advised, since he's got passive and can't deal damage. So they win that now? And we could have just one shot the... Wow. That is pretty crazy. Thankfully, he got the shutdown on Zack, which is a really big gold swing. <sighs> well, if I would have recognized that they wanted to burst uh, Zack, I could have done it. But it's just one of those split decisions. Maybe I should have hesitated for a moment and to see who they were going for. I can't kill this Olaf, I don't think. Brain gets plates. I think I can slow push this out though, because Brain's going to want to recall. And then um, get more plates again. Oops, I have way too much damage for that now. Oh, wait, if he stays, I'll just kill him. He just needs to spend a spell. Oh, he knows, I think. Oh, somebody's here. That's wild. Varus is just ganking. Oh, I should have sent it a little bit sooner, and it would have been fine. Man, so close on a lot of these. That's not going to reach me. Oh my gosh, he flashed for it. And he just gets executed, I think. Wow. Man. Just tiny, tiny things and misconsiderations making a big difference in this game so far. Pretty frustrating. The hard part is, like, this guy is getting bailed out a lot by jungle and support. Like, we don't have the damage. Yeah. Um, which 
it's fine. That's just the way mid goes. But what's hard on Tristana specifically is like I really have to full commit to plays. So if I'm wrong, it really hurts. There's no way. Oh my gosh, dude. He just stuns you and ults and it does your whole health bar. That's crazy. <sighs> and I'm dead again. Well, this is not going well. I guess maybe I should just not be trying to scrap and take it back as much, but I keep thinking that he's making mistakes that I can capitalize on and I've just been wrong every time. Thankfully on Tristana, we still can get a lot of money through towers and like these chaotic fights are going to always benefit us, which it seems like the enemy team is really willing to take and uh, I'll always benefit from that chaos as Tristana because people will be isolated and disorganized which will make my side laning really easy. Unfortunately Brand has so much wave clear that it's going to be really really hard to get any more of these plates. He's got a level lead on me so I need to just chill until I get some help. I have no help in bait or I have no like nobody on the map to help me. And Zack is freed up right now, we know, so he's going to try and punish that minion. I do have ult, but I need him to be in a spot where I can actually run him down after he stuns me. Or, for some crazy reason, I bait the stun. Or I get help from Shaco. There are several options. But it looks like Shaco wants to help top, which is totally fine. He's looking to maybe get a play and grab those grubs. I'm really, really behind on CS. I still would like to try and send it and chunk this guy, but Cho'Gath picks up the Olaf, which is great. Oh, that's just the clone. I was like, I thought he died. Zach's bot, and they somehow survive the initial engage, which means they actually might clean up all of them. <laughs> nice job. That's crazy. Well, that gives me a lot of freedom here, I think. Alright, I just need to avoid one more spell with an E again, and I should be able to kill him. I can regen faster. It's gonna be dicey. Shaco wants it, too. He knows he's low. That's all his sp spells. He knows. I really would like to get this wave under if possible because I should be able to get one more plate. Is he just chilling under here? Uh, okay, well, I'll go here. This sack is kind of throwing. Olaf's here. Not enough to kill. If I would have laid it, I just, uh, I'm just going for bad fights. I didn't think about the fact that Olaf could be there. So tragic, man. Oh, this brand is getting away with murder, dude. And it's my fault. I just need to clear it. Like right now, I just need to clear out this mid tower. Then, although, man, why do we go for the, I should just not follow them. Why are we going for the grubs there? It's not smart. I need to clear out this midway, uh, mid tower so that I can just go bot lane and put my MF and Lissandra mid because they are doing very well. So that is my goal right now just get out of here which MF wants to be here like, gosh dude I just can't catch a break although I think we're gonna get some kills from it Brand has no ult gosh I think they still win this yeah 
and then I'll go bot with my TP and we will finally be in a desirable spot. It was good to just be a part of that fight and send it because I crashed the wave. We're trying to get the tower and make a play and this will let me be mid. Oh, she needs to watch out. Oh, the Shaco. That was awesome. That was really good Q from the Shaco. That Lissandra is going to try and clean him up. I'm going to teleport down here. There's nothing that else is like nothing else is going to happen that I can be a part of here. And now we can play off these kills and try and like power farm up the the deficit that we have right now while all of this chaos is happening mid. Yeah, cuz that's two. There's Brand. Everybody else is just coming out of base. I don't think they'll send anybody to me. Until I have Navori, I can't spend spells on the wave. They're still fighting this, I think. I just want a ward down. That's an Ash, so I'm just gonna walk over here. I don't want to really fight her under tower. Oh, I don't have flash. Wait. Let me jump away. <laughs> I thought I had flash, but turns out that was just a good time to go. Man, the burn! That's wild! I should have just... If I would have attacked a minion once. Dude, that is nuts. It's okay. We... Somebody's calling me. Okay, I finished the phone call, Zach's about to die. And then we should be able to follow up and go for these people. I'm gonna jump on Brand. Chogath has Q coming up and then I'm going to try and pressure this side tower while my team works on Drake. Because Olaf is getting side tower bot and I don't think that Ash has the wave clear to really like fully stop this. Maybe she does. Lissandra wants to maybe dive. She's the ADC. I mean, we it's worth it. She has ult. I'm ready. Uh oh, Ferris is here. I'm ready to jump on whoever. She ults. We have a lot of pressure here. Zach is up. Oh. Nice. Okay, Zach's mid. We just have everybody sitting in our jungle, so it's my job to just keep this flank cleared out by pushing. And then we can come drop back in and fight. And we're just waiting to see who Lissandra ults, pretty much. That's all I'm doing right now, is just waiting to see if Lissandra ults somebody. MF is backing out, which I don't really think she needs to. Oh, I want I want Ash to finish her recall. Okay, MF left. Varus is coming out. Shaco and Lissandra are kind of backing off. We can, yeah, just look for another pick on this guy. She's going to get baited into running me down. Because of the... Uh, her slows, but lissandra has got the thing coming up. Olaf's topside... Zack is most likely topside. We don't know where Brand is. We haven't seen him in a bit, which makes me wonder if he gave up. No, there he is. Wait, I want to jump on this guy with Lissandra's ult. Oh, okay, everyone's gone. 
Varus missed his ult, which makes this situation a lot easier. I'm pretty sure I could just jump away anyways, but we have a lot of gold, but I have my team up here with me. Lissandra's got ult, MF has ult, Sheikah's making a play. The only person we're missing is Cho'Gath, but I need to keep this flank cleared out for my team so that they can make their plays mid. So I'm just trying to play hard to get over here with my W. I can jump away if things really get bad. Shaco is fighting Zack top side. I don't know where Varus is, which makes me think he could be here to help her somewhere. So I don't really want to full commit because she could ult me at any point, which I'm ready to flash, but there's going to be a lot of spells to dodge if Varus is here somewhere. So I'm just going to keep pushing the wave. That's all I got to do. It's my only job. Okay, MF and Shaco are recalling, which are my two strongest members. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a recall as well, and we'll just ping enemy off because we have no damage out. So Lissandra's gonna push the wave, which I kind of wish she wouldn't do, but that's okay. And then I will run back bot and continue doing my job. And this is what I meant. Like I can stabilize in the mid game really easily, even with that bad lane phase because of side waves and honestly to be completely transparent like the mf is bailing us out a little bit she played her lane well and then got that really big triple kill which has put us in a really dominant position um but i was in the right place at the right time many times in a row just ready to put damage on whoever got cc'd and even if i died if we get the kills it's fine i think i want to be a part of this this is going to get chaotic because Ash and Olaf are going to collapse, so they need uh, another source of damage here. Just because we might need to burst somebody down. I really would rather just be pushing the wave, but this is a bit too precarious. Okay, we see Brand. Even though Varus is so weak at this point, like just picking him is valuable because of his ult. Yeah. Huge. We can keep going, boys. I don't know why we're scared. Cho'Gath was gonna come in, but he got his TP canceled. We're just kinda A-ramming right now, but we're ahead. And also, Cho'Gath is pushing top, so this A-ram is more beneficial for us than it is for them, even if it goes poorly. Oh, I was trying to come in and kill somebody. But we are kind of just winning the video game. I'm gonna go down here. We can just back up and take Drake. And I'm gonna get the side tower, which is big. Though we're taking a little too long. I just want to explode this tower and just leave. Oops. Zach is coming out, so we really, really need to kill this fast. And they know. Thankfully, I do a lot of DPS to this. And we're out of there. And I've got TP. This is going to be a nice juicy back for me. I really am debating almost not backing because my Shaco and MF are still playing, but... Ooh, I can't TP into this. This was just very bad. Yeah. Interesting moment there where it felt like I maybe shouldn't back because Shaco and MF were busy. Yeah, I think they should not have stayed, but I also could have been around to help out with that. Although, I do have a pretty big shutdown now, but that means we're going to lose this mid tower, which is fine. I'll just pick up some camps in the meantime. Yeah, 
they get that it is what it is doesn't really matter too much I don't really care about having my mid tower up but um, I'm gonna start making my way down I should have cleared the bottom quadrant instead of this quadrant because I want to be in bot lane eventually this is actually pretty dangerous now because they could be waiting for me for a pick in here but I'm just gonna risk it hope that I'm okay which I see Zach so I'm probably okay I have TP so I'm going to push the TP okay I kind of just typed what I'm trying to do here but if I pull people here and die that's fine because my team can just get Baron I will just need to make sure I spam ping them if they split up and try and do both then my team will kill them and get Baron and I might kill the people that get on me if they go to my team then I will look for a TP which they don't need me at all so I would just get even more down here if this brand gets out of line even a little bit I'm gonna jump on them or back off and just TP do they need me Huge. Zach is still alive somewhere, but he can't do anything. So we'll just push. I'm gonna go up here. I don't think Zach's in here, so I'm just gonna jump. I don't think I'll be able to get this side tower in time, but I wanna push the wave into it at least. Maybe I will. Oh, it's only... Never mind, I'm definitely going to be able to get it. I need to to uh, get out of here though, because Zack is coming. I have a lot of money. Hopefully they don't have vision here. I don't see why they would. Okay, so where do I want to be now? I don't have TP anymore, and Drake is coming up. So it's between bot and top. I'm going to actually wait for this. Because this is a really, really good item for me to pick up. Um, oh man, stuff's happening and I'm falling behind. Team is getting all positioned. So they want to play Drake. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to need to be mid or top. And no one's pushing in the mid wave. Or sorry, top or bot. And no one's pushing in the mid wave. So I'll just take care of that. So that everyone else can stay out of vision and hang out in the jungle. MF wants to do this. I think because I don't have TP and my whole team is bot side, I can't I can't go top and split. Drake is coming up soon. So we can just play for soul here. In theory we could be playing for the bear, but oh wait, they just jumped on Cho'Gath. That is psychotic. Oh, nope, that's a bad idea. <laughs> Need to get some health back a little bit. We got some flashes. I don't think we can end. Let's just back up and get soul. Oh, maybe we can end. She doesn't have ult. They're like really staggered though. <laughs> okay, I was gonna get the wave to you, but oh, that's why she did that. <laughs> GG. All right, I think that was a good example of how you can earn gold on this champion in the mid game and bring it back. That was a fun one. Thanks for watching.